Hi, I'm Cameron Braxton from Houston, Texas. When other boys were out chasing girls and having fun, I was working on magic tricks and trying to book gigs. I might only be 23, but I consider myself to have old school charm. When I was a child, my mentors were 60-year-old magicians, and they quickly became my best friends. They taught me everything I knew, and not just in magic, from how to walk properly, how to dress, how to enter a room. One of them even took 20 minutes to teach me good posture when I sit down. So thanks to them, I am one of the best dressed men in Texas. Uh, unfortunately, I've had to come to terms with my best friend's passing, but I think they'd be proud of me making my first national appearance on TV in front of my magic heroes, Penn and Teller. Wish me luck, guys. Don't mess with Texas, so don't mess with Cameron Broxton. All right, so here we are in fabulous Las Vegas. It's a place where dreams are often made, sometimes broken. That being said, it draws two kinds of players. Uh, you have the card sharks and also the suckers. Card sharks will spend their entire lives figuring out ways to cheat at cards with cold decks and double discards. I'm not one of those people. I'm a magician, and tonight I'm going to show you how a magician would cheat at cards. First, you want to start by showing that the cards have been fairly shuffled and cut. Then we also need our card at random to work our magic with. In this case, the uh, Queen of Spades will serve as a nice high card for us to work with, especially when paired with the Queen of Clubs. Oh, look what I found there. Now, those two cards by themselves aren't going to win any hands, so three cards. Now, those ladies right there, you can rake in a lot of cash. But when I say those ladies, I truly mean those one, two, three, four queens. So the question becomes, how do you use these skills to win at cards? So let's set a scene. It's a pretty big table. I say that there's six players. That's going to be big money. In poker, you bet cash on the quality of these cards. Not all at once, but bit by bit. But no one else is going to be betting unless you uh, give them a reason to. So we're going to bait the hook. If I deal these queens to myself, well, I was the one who was shuffling and dealing, so all the suspicion is going to fall on me. Instead, I'm going to deal the queens to player number two. Let's take a look. We're going to lose these queens back under the deck, give them a few shuffles, and a few cuts. And then with any luck, we'll be able to magic those queens right over to our good friend here. And now for the magic move. Faster than the human eye can see. And we're done. There's one, two, three, four, five, Six, just like I promised. And can you imagine the look of surprise on player number two's face when she realizes that she has not just one, but two of those queens? Is it luck? Is it skill? Or is it magic? Well, truth be told, I'd say it's just the beginning. Now, a card truck would tell you that this is enough to win almost any card game. But... I'm not a card shark. I'm a conjurer, with emphasis on the con. <laughs> and right here is the magical way of getting player number two to bet everything that she has. Right there. I must admit, this is my favorite part. You see, while she's betting heavily, what she doesn't realize is that she's actually the sucker. So, once all the money is on the table, all the betting has been exhausted, now we get to the showdown. Right there. Surely, you'd see that coming in just above with the kings would be enough to win. But if I cheat to give myself the winning hand, well, that's a way to get my real hands broken. So. 
you need to be able to magic the card so smoothly that player number two gets a good hand. I get a slightly better one. But the best hand to your secret accomplice. All one, two, three, four, aces. Are you a card player? Uh, believe it or not, no. I, I prefer to shuffle more than I play. So you clearly have a lot of style, but you're a self-confessed nerd? Uh, to an extent. I, I've got a rather large library and a very good memory. Uh, so quite oftentimes I'll have my friends always calling me up, uh, mostly with magic questions. Uh, Greek philosophy is also a very big topic with me. I love it. So Cameron, what is magic to you? Magic is an expression of the idea of impossibility. Uh, I'm not actually doing the impossible, but I'm able to use things in the tangible world to express the idea that exists within my head. Okay, what's the best magic advice you ever got from one of your mentors? So the best magic advice was buy a tuxedo. Aww. <laughs> All right, Cameron, let's go to Penn and Teller and see if you earned yourself a trophy. Right. Penn, Teller. Hey, Cameron, really nice. Boy, you have a nice style. That advice to buy a tuxedo was very, very good. Oh. Just that nice coolness under fire. You know, you, you, you say something there where you say this is not the way a card cheat cheats. This is the way a magician cheats. And a lot of the moves you're doing are what a card cheat cheats. And the way you carry yourself, that very unflappable style is the way a card cheat cheats. So maybe we don't completely believe you, but we'll go on. Teller right. and I do not gamble. We don't play cards. We're not particularly good with cards, but uh, our mentor was Johnny Thompson, who was here when Vegas started. Mm -hmm. And there is not a card move that we did not see Johnny do. And although he often denied it, like some of the best, mm -hmm. uh, said he never cheated in a real game. He only did magic, but Johnny sometimes lied. <laughs> but even though we don't play cards ourselves and we don't gamble, we do live in Las Vegas. We are students of Johnny Thompson. And uh, we think that uh, although you did a great routine, as cool as you were, I think we followed you. I think we have a pretty good idea what you did. Is that right, Cameron? I think they've got it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, All right. Well, Cameron Braxton, right. thank you so much. Thank you. More moments of impossibility when we come back. Stick around.